All right, so this is a demonstration on how to get started with your electrical plan. So you can see, uh, first thing, you wanna make sure that you have your floor plan pretty well uh, wrapped up and set up the way that you want it. Um, you do wanna have your appliances as in. You can see that I don't have everything in here, but I have a couple of important ones. Um, it would be best to have a lot of your appliances and know the layout of all your rooms. You don't necessarily have to have all of your furniture in, but it's a good idea uh, to kind of know where stuff's going to be at. So anyway, uh, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to make a separate floor plan here that I can use just for electrical plans. So I'm going to come over here into my project browser. I'm going to right click on the floor that I want to make an electrical plan for. And I'm going to choose duplicate view. And I'm only going to choose duplicate um, that way, if you have things like dimensions on this plan, it's not going to bring the uh, uh, dimensions along with it. If you choose duplicate with detailing, it'll bring some of the extra stuff. So we're just going to duplicate. So next thing I'm going to do is rename this. So I'm going to rename this. Electrical. And the name of the floor that I'm on. All right, so now, before we start placing um, switches and lights and outlets in here, we wanna change some visibility settings. To change uh, visibility of a particular view, while you're in the view, click somewhere out here in model space. Don't click on any of your objects. So click somewhere in model space. And then on your keyboard, just type VV. V is in Victor. And that brings up your visibility or graphics overrides. And you can come through here and you can hide things and you can also half tone things. So one thing that I want to uh, get rid of, I want to uh, get rid of my floor. I don't want to see the floor. You can see now I don't have all of that, uh, all the extra lines that come along with the floor that, that I had selected. And I come back in here. I also want to turn off, let's see here. We want to half tone our doors, our walls, and our windows. Uh, let's see, our refrigerator and ranger and specialty equipment. So we want to see those, but we don't necessarily want them dark. So we're going to half tone those as well. And. Plumbing fixtures. Let's also half tone plumbing fixtures. Okay. Okay, and you can see that that looks pretty good now. So now, um, since this is our electrical plan, we'll be able to see our electrical symbols um, a little more prominently displayed than if we were just on our regular floor plan like so. So I'm going to come back in here and now we can start to add our electrical symbols. We can do this a couple different ways. You can come into Component and then Load Family. And I like to start with switches. So we're gonna come out here to Electrical, Architectural, Electrical Power, and Terminals. And you can see there's quite a few different uh, things that we'll be using in here. Uh, you probably don't need your floor outlets, but we're going to use this outlet duplex, GFI, uh, range. You could potentially use the single or the triplex. Uh, dimmer is up to you. You won't need a double, or at least I don't think anybody will need a double. Uh, you'll use a single switch and certainly a three-way switch. Um, and you can bring each one of these individually, but I was just holding shift as I was selecting and it kind of uh, gets everything in between if you're holding shift. So I'm going to just bring all those in and that way they're loaded up here into uh, my panel so that I can now select from. And it is right on single switch. So I'm going to come in and choose couple of the places that I'm going to have a single switch. So I'm certainly going to have a single switch in all of my bedrooms. 
and you're going to generally put them right inside of the door on the handle side of the door. So all those locations right there are going to get single pole switches. I actually kind of jumped the gun right here. This is a stairwell down into a basement. So there, I'm actually going to want to put a three-way switch. And the other three-way switch that's going to go with it is at the bottom of the stairs. So I'm not going to show that in this view, actually. And then over here, I actually want to have this door open the other way. And I want to have a three-way switch right here and another three-way switch to go with it over here. Remember, three-way switches always come in pairs. And I'm going to put a three-way switch here. And also over here. So at this point, I think I have all my switches in. So now we're going to come up and we're going to choose some outlets. And our outlets, I guess should be up here. Everything's alphabetical. So our GFI outlets, let's start with that. We want to make sure that we're going to have some GFI outlets in the uh, kitchen. You can see I don't have a countertop in here. I don't have a sink but I know that this is where I'm going to be having it in kind of an L shape right here. So I'm gonna have one on either side of the uh, range and over here, my sink's gonna be right in this area here and I'll have one more over here. I'm also gonna have some GFI outlets in the bathroom. Now, technically you could put one GFI outlet and then have some regular duplex outlets along with it um, because if they're all wired in one circuit one gfi outlet will protect all of those on the same circuit um, and anyone that would be wiring this up uh, your electrician on the job would know that um, so only one of them really has to be labeled but it's okay to label all of them so i'm going to come back in here and i'm going to label my range outlet that, of course, is going to go right where my range is. And now I'm going to come into my single outlets here and I'm going to place them. Um, remember, uh, by code, any location on the wall that you're at, you must be within six feet of an outlet. So you're going to want to make sure that you have them located appropriately and I should actually be on a duplex outlet right here somehow I missed loading that. So you can kind of go around and space those out. And this is just a generic floor plan that I have right here. Um, so you can kind of figure out based on yours and your dimensions what makes sense but remember to follow code and make sure that you have a sufficient number of outlets in each room based on the dimensions of the room and also what you might be doing in that room 